Hey there, Patriots. JT Serenity Farms prepping here. One third of America's crop land is suffering drought or other naturally occurring issues and there will be no crops from them this year. One third. It is estimated by experts on our side that if one half of the world's crop, not the U.S., the world's crop, one half of it was gone, between four and five billion people would be exterminated in a year. The way it's going right now with all the weather manipulation, which I'll get into in a second, and one third of the crops being affected in the world by the next three to five years they're estimating that between one and two billion people will be exterminated. Now they went with three to five years because these folks believe at some point that Americans and people around the world will wake the hell up and stop what's going on. So we know what the poison jibby jab is doing. We know that it's being injected into all sorts of foods. We also know there are chemtrails which are being used for a couple different purposes. One, pollute the land, pollute the water supply, let people breathe in certain ingredients that would be very handy for 5G and the Jibby Jack. Now, the forest fires for the last years, California a couple years ago, Canada right now, it is being said that 330,000 acres are being burned every day. Let me repeat that, 330,000 acres acres are burning every single day up there in Alberta and working its way eastward. Canadian authorities just came out and said that the fires will likely burn all the way until December, January snowfall. Do the math on that. 330,000 acres a day for July. Well, let's go back. It's been May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January. Nine months times 330,000. Tens of millions of acres, a lot of it forested, a lot of it homes. Now, here's a little tidbit I discovered the other day that I don't hear anyone else talking about. Before New York City had their orange haze, as the forest fire smoke clouds from Canada were passing over middle America, Chicago had some mysterious chemical fires at just the right time, releasing 
toxins straight up into the atmosphere and guess what they clung to to be carried along the smoke from the Canadian forest fires think about all the forest fires you've ever seen their smoke is white wood burns white think about all the oil rubber fires you've seen their smoke is black I can't remember ever seeing a fire that burns orange that the smoke is orange I've seen orange fire retarding elements dropped from planes and helicopters to put out fires but never the smoke from the fires orange in nature because it ain't natural <laughs> okay so the deck is completely stacked against us there is no food that hasn't been poisoned and no food literally the food you're eating today was next year's food one third the crops are gone for this year expect very soon to see the food prices double then to see empty shelves then rationing and next year you're on your own but you should have realized you're on your own by now if we do not take action ASAP ain't none of us gonna be around in three four years or some of us will be around but we ain't gonna have nobody to talk to we are being systematically exterminated now they don't plan on all of us they just plan on getting rid of enough of us especially the white folk especially the people who are gonna stand up for themselves because the replacements are already here. Ask France how that's working out. That's what's coming to us, to exterminate more of us. Do your research, buy some food, please, if you wanna live. There needs to be enough of us left to take these people out. To the woodshed. You know what I mean? That's my plan. www.storagechef.com SFP15 for your discount code. Get it wherever you want. Just get it. That's all I got for now. GT. Signing off.